Hey everyone, welcome to AI Breakdown, where we give you the scoop on the newest AI research. Ever wonder about turning two still images into a captivating video sequence? That's right, Megan, we're looking at a paper today that tackles just that. Flip to figure five and you've got a front row seat to this thing called time reversal fusion, or TRF. It's fascinating, like watching fragmented stills transform into a smooth video narrative, all thanks to some clever tricks with noise. This episode zooms in on a paper about time reversal fusion. This advanced technique is upping the game in video generation by synthesizing videos from just the beginning and ending images. Everyone should glance at page one, where the authors lay down their groundbreaking method and highlight how TRF outperforms the competition. It's the way this method dictates the limits of the video that intrigues me. Essentially, it fills in the content between the first and last frame by inferring the right movement and action. Let's break down the key contributions of this paper. The team behind TRF has taken a big step by enabling image-to-video models to predict the boundaries without extra training steps. On top of that, they created a new data set that helps benchmark their progress. It's all detailed on page one. They're positioning TRF as a strong solution for generating intricate subjects and maintaining a consistent three-dimensional perspective. So if we take a look at figure one, it's pretty clear how TRF can bring still images to life. It can capture movement, make it look like the camera's moving, or even produce a seamless video loop, showing just how flexible TRF is. It's like breathing motion into pictures, creating a story where there was just a single moment captured before. Over at figure two, we see a comparison between different ways to guide the video generation. Linear interpolation and noise alone don't deliver, but TRF gets it spot on, ensuring the video starts and ends just as designed. That's right, and it's this level of precision that really shines a light on TRF's capacity to manage the video's content precisely. Figuring three shows us the stark contrast. Up top, you see the issues with other diffusion techniques for filling in images, frequently leading to awkward jumps. But look below, TRF makes the transitions blend seamlessly. Yeah, the way TRF balances the action between the opening and closing frames is pretty impressive. It ensures the video flow is smooth and continuous from beginning to end. And for anyone intrigued by the technical details, figure four is for you. It describes the TRF algorithm with pseudocode and visuals. It's all about mixing the forward and backward processes intelligently with a noise filter to achieve realistic video clips. This combination, or as you called it, the secret sauce, really is central to taking any two pictures and connecting them into a continuous video. As we wrap up, looking back at page one one last time, it's clear that TRF is more than just a new tech. It's a significant advance in synthesizing videos from still images. The depth of motion and variety of perspectives it's capable of? Quite impressive. I couldn't agree more. TRF is not just a simple step. It represents a significant advance, one that sets the stage for future developments in AI-generated visual content that we are just starting to explore.